All right, we read the problem. A certain wooden block has a mass of 7.6 kilograms. Notice that I uh, interact with the problem with a pen as I read it. I'll underline the mass, write it down. Pulled along with uniform speed. Ah, that tells me forces are balanced. The coefficient of static friction is given and kinetic friction. They want to find the force to get it going and to keep it going. A very uh, typical question. And of course, once it's going, it's constant velocity. So the first thing I need to do is there's my pull force, and there's the friction force that is opposing. Well, to get it going, the first thing I need to do is calculate the static friction. Remember, that's the friction to start it moving. And it's equal to mu static times mg. And mg is the normal force. It's uh, pulling it parallel. So I write that down. It's 0.4 is the static friction coefficient, no units for it. And it's 7.6 kilograms, easy. And finally, g is 9.8 meters per second squared. And a meter per second squared, a kilogram meter per second squared is a newton. I work that out, and I find that the static friction is 29.792 newtons. But everything is two sig figs. And I write the answer as 30 dot, and that's newtons, and that's to two sig figs. There's my static friction to get it going. So let's uh, clear our little work area here. And my problem now is how much force to keep the block moving. I want to keep it moving. Well, again, it says at constant velocity, Therefore, my pull force must balance the friction force. I've already got it moving. I've overcome static friction. So now, to keep it moving, I need to find out what is the kinetic friction. Very simple. I now use the uh, same formula, but I use the coefficient of, of kinetic friction this time, which is uh, mu uh, mg. And mu this time is 0.25. And again, no units for the coefficient of friction. And finally, m is 7.6. Again, nothing has changed there. And again, the 9.8 meters per second squared. And I write that down. Just get the calculator, work it out, and my final answer would have to be given in two significant figures. And when I work it out, I find the answer is, let's look at this, 18.6. 6, 2, but that's not two sig figs. I write it as 19 newtons. Again, it's good to work through this entire problem yourself.